Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add the LinkedIn Insight tag to your Framer website. So first I'm gonna show you how to do this by using Google Tag Manager, which I recommend. If you're gonna have multiple code snippets and different tags, say for other ad platforms like Google or Meta, you can add them all into Google Tag Manager and keep everything consolidated in there. I'm also gonna show you another option if you just wanna add the LinkedIn Insight code directly to your Framer website too. So go over those two options. I do recommend using Google Tag Manager. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first you're gonna set up a Google Tag Manager account. So it's really easy to create an account in a workspace. Once you create that, we're gonna go into the account itself. So you wanna look for the container ID. So you'll look for this little ID here. You can click that and you'll see the code snippet that we need. And this is what we're gonna to add to our Framer website. Uh, you can also see it under the admin section. So if I go to admin, while well, I'm in this container account here, and I go to install Google Tag Manager, I'll see the code snippets here. So we're gonna copy the first code snippet that needs to be pasted in the head section of our website. So we'll go back into Framer here. We're gonna go to the settings, the like gear icon at the top. Then we're gonna go to site settings and click general. And then we're gonna scroll down. So we wanna insert the custom code into the head section that we just copied from Google Tag Manager. So we'll click in there and then we'll paste the code in there. And then we'll go back into Google Tag Manager and we'll copy the code that needs to be pasted in the body section. We'll go back into Framer and we'll go into the start of the body here and we'll click paste and then we'll save that. Then we'll publish our site and update that. So now our site has been updated with Google Tag Manager. We'll go back into our Google Tag Manager account now and we'll go into the workspace section and then we're gonna click preview and then we're gonna add our website, click connect. And then that'll open up our website here and we'll go back into the Tag Assistant tab and we'll click continue. And you can see on our website that the Google Tag was found. So we know that Google Tag Manager has been successfully added. Now we're gonna add in the LinkedIn Insight Tag. So we're gonna go back into Google Tag Manager here, go to the Tag section and we're gonna click Create New. And then we're gonna go into our LinkedIn Ads account and you're gonna go to the Analyze tab in Signals Manager and then click Create Insight Tag. So we'll click proceed to agree to the terms. And then we're gonna click Insight Tag where it says unverified. And we're gonna click, I will use Google Tag Manager. So now we're gonna install the LinkedIn Insight Tag into Google Tag Manager. So we'll click to copy our partner ID. Then we'll go back into Google Tag Manager. We're gonna call this the LinkedIn Insight Tag. And then we're gonna click Tag Configuration. And we're gonna click Discover More Tag Types. And then we're gonna search for LinkedIn. And then we're gonna add the LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. I already added it, but you'll need to do that. So then I'll go back to the Tag Configuration and we'll look for that LinkedIn Insight Tag 2.0. And then where it says Partner ID, we're gonna paste that Partner ID that we copied from our LinkedIn Campaign Manager account. And then in the Triggering section, we're gonna select All Pages because we want this tag to fire on all pages. And then we'll click Save. And then we're gonna publish these changes so they go live on our site. So we'll click Submit. And then you can give this a version name to help you keep track of the changes you've made in Google Tag Manager. So I'll say added LinkedIn Insight Tag, and then we'll click Publish, and that will publish our changes live on the our website. So now we're gonna go back to our website. I opened up my website in a new incognito window, and I downloaded this extension called the B2B House LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker. So you'll need this, it's free on Chrome, and this can verify that the tag is firing accurately. So we'll click Inspect here. And then you can see it has the partner ID that I copied from our LinkedIn campaign manager account. So it's been successfully added. Um, if you don't see it on your site, give it a few minutes. Sometimes you need to refresh your page a couple times. So if you follow that process, your LinkedIn insight take should be on your page successfully. If you have any issues, please put them in the comment section and I'd be happy to help you out there. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add the LinkedIn insight tag directly onto your website without Google Tag Manager. So we're back in our Framer website here. Now we're gonna add the LinkedIn Insight Tag directly to our Framer website without using Google Tag Manager. So we're gonna navigate again to the settings section in the top hand here by clicking that gear icon. Under the site settings section, we're gonna click general and we're gonna scroll down to where it says custom code. Then we're gonna go back into our LinkedIn Ads Campaign Manager account. And under the analyze section, we'll go to signals manager and we'll look for the Insight Tag source. So if you, you can create that if you haven't done it already, but you'll click into the Insight Tag 
And now we're going to use the option where it says I will install the tag myself. Before we use, I will use tag manager. So we're going to click I will install the tag myself. And then we're going to click to copy this code here. And we're going to go back into our framer website. And we're going to go in the end of body tag here. And we're going to paste that snippet of code there. And then we're going to click save. And then we're going to click publish and click update. And that's going to publish the changes live on our website. So we'll go back into our website here. We'll click refresh. Then we're going to go to the LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker Chrome extension. So you can get this for free. It's by the B2B house, the LinkedIn Insight Tag Checker. We'll click inspect and we're looking for the status to equal success. And we can see our partner ID that's in our LinkedIn code snippet. So we know that the LinkedIn Insight Tag has been added successfully to our website. So that's how you add the LinkedIn Insight Tag to a Framer website using Google Tag Manager or adding the code directly to the site. If you have any issues with that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help you out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.